Oh, hi, YouTube. I hereby announce the beginning of the Rob Chapman's extraordinary expedition across America. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Rob Chapman from Burberry, and I'd like to show you the new model Dust Jack 8, wow. which is uh, what happens when you get covered in uh, movie grade full of earth. It's like for the scene where you collapse in a desert in a dehydrated, hallucinogenic lump of man hugged rusk. I've ruined it, so I'm going to get it dry cleaned and then it's going to be a lot better. Remises. Oh, yeah, HG Repair and Drag Cleaner, here we go. I shot a music video for In the Sunshine. I just woke up feeling really mega accomplished and like I'd done something. I'd done something worthwhile and I'd also worked out something that I wanted to do a lot more of. Basically, Hollywood is the center of the movie industry and it all happens here. There's a lot of competition and it means the people that do that are really good. So I'm definitely gonna come back and bring a budget and shoot a bunch of music videos and just spend a couple of weeks in Hollywood eating waffles like we're about to do right now. <laughs> Should we have a no phone for Let's have a no phone breakfast. Let's I'm, have a no phone breakfast. I'm totally down with that. Yeah, I'm with that. Let me just put my phone away. Should we know if she can film you? Is that okay? Yeah, that's yeah. fine. It's always. It's always really amazing meeting people in foreign countries because like, I don't know why, but for some reason I don't really expect it. Madison, nice to meet you. You too. Sorry you can't make it tomorrow. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Can, can I get a picture of you? Sure. Yeah, yeah. sure. Oh. Great. Good. Right, take it easy, thanks. <laughs> right, yeah, nice to meet you. See you soon. Yeah, have a Bye. Good one. Bye. Yeah. Um, and all I ha normally <laughs> I give people a plectrum if I meet them, but I didn't have any. All I have is a little packet of sugar from the Starbucks I've been to. So I went, oh, do, you, do you want my sugar? <laughs> Shouldn't be giving out sugar to kids. That's right. We're off to go pick up a. I think it was this one. Uh, let's have a look. Great Eight game. Dry cleaners. Are we on CBS or ABC? <laughs> YouTube. I'm Is that okay? Well, hey, Basically, hey. I'm shooting a documentary. You're a beautiful man anyway. You didn't need Come to through. do any of that. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. They saved my jacket. I'm going to take plenty of that back and you can keep the rest for doing a great job. They, uh, Is it black again? It's black again because it, it was not that colour earlier. <laughs> Put my hand on cactus. I had to kill somebody and then I had to follow their ghost into a trailer. And uh, I, don't want to, I don't want to spoil it though. I was crawling on the desert in glass and beetles and snakes and shit, and then I shot a cool video, but this got wrecked and they've just saved it for me, so thank you very much. Guys. Good time, you guys, welcome. There, there, are, there's, there are two secrets. The first secret is you gotta love teaching, and I love to teach. The second secret is that you have to put yourself in the position of the person learning, which is, is often difficult if you're quite accomplished, because you forget what it's like to be a beginner. Third thing is, you've got to realize that you cannot teach anybody. You can show them the information, they have to learn it. And then the fourth thing is, you need to find an appropriate method of delivery that sticks. Hi, my name's Robert. Just want to say, great clinic with Rob. There's so much in-depth stuff that was uh, very accessible for everybody and amazing to be a part of. Thanks, Rob. First time ever seeing Rob or meeting him and learned a lot. So thank you, Rob. I really appreciate it. And keep up the good work. Some people are really wordy. Some people are really, they link things with emotions or with story. Some people really link things with visuals. When you've locked in which one of those it is, have fun with it and drill it. And if you're enjoying the process of the teaching, 
they're going to enjoy the process of the learning. And then they go, oh my God, that feels great. It's when they have that eureka moment and they go, holy, I can't believe I've, just, I've been doing five years of modal theory or targeting fifths and thirds over a chord and they didn't get it or something. And then you go, it's that. And they go, wow, incredible. That feels cool. I like that feeling. What got me into teaching, what do I teach? My biggest inspiration for a long time is Joe Satriani. What he is at essence was something that I wanted to be. And he was a guitar teacher for years and years and years. He still teaches as part of the process for him. Mm -hmm. And what I learned from Joe Satriani, and I've met him once, briefly shook his hand and just became like an 11 year old girl. Like, Here we go. What I learned from him was that through the process of teaching, you learn. Mm -hmm. And if you can love the process of teaching, you'll love the process of learning to a hand in hand and you'll just be a better artist. Thank you, Joe, although I've met you once and touched your hand. His part of his hand looked a lot like my hand. I shook his hand and I did a little thing where I looked and I went, oh, his hand looks like my hand. But it was just a bit more beautiful. Overdub some James Brown music like really quick or something. It's probably the longest conversation I've ever had carrying uh, carrying some dry cleaning from Abe's. <laughs> it's the cookie I left here three days ago. Everything's gonna be great. The biggest guitar store chain on earth has only gone and hired a 43 year old dude from Wiltshire to uh, be part of the main opening ceremonies for their new Hollywood store. I feel this guy. You know, when they've only got English breakfast, they haven't got Earl Grey and there's no proper good milk. I feel this pain, man. I'm here all day. <laughs> so they're about to filter through all the people who have come and see me in Hollywood. Honestly, I'm a little bit nervous. I think it's only uh, human. Guitar sounds great. I've had just enough food and coffee. Hopefully things are gonna go good. Hands up if you watch my YouTube videos. Yeah. Oh, it's going back quite a way. First, the lyrics or the riff. <clears throat> so, honestly, I kind of get it all at the same time, and I never rush the process. So, what I do is I, I, I don't sit down to write anything. Never do that. I don't go, that time I wrote the song. This is Trey from Gear Gods. Everybody should go watch his videos on YouTube. He's doing really good. He's got a big following of men, like I have. <laughs> it's true. I got all of my nerves out of the way in the Hollywood show. For Guitar Center, it was the biggest. It was the launch of their new store. It's not that there was any pressure on, but it was, it was one of those events where you kind of go, you gotta be good. And it went really well. I felt really cool about it, and now I'm just excited to play a bunch of clinics in a row. Everyone has a stop sign, right? 
Yeah. But as we're on the left, you think you'd give way to the left. In life, everyone is given a stop sign. Some people choose to ignore it. Keep on ignoring. There you go. Oh, it's Gilmore. Good morning, yeah. Hi. We're at Cantor's, probably one of the most famous diners in the entire world. And Matt Hornby is incredibly excited because his favourite band in the entire world, Guns N' Roses, came here once. <laughs> used to come here and eat food. And they have a Matt's special that he's not ordering. They do have a Matt's special. It's nothing to do with me. Well, as far as you know. As far as I know. We're currently at Newport Beach. We just had a really nice vegan burger at Dory Deli, which was really good. And um, we had half an hour to watch the sunset. And now we're off to the Fountain Valley Guitar Center to do a bit of a guitar clinic. Very exciting. I'm gonna play some guitar in this fashion. Yeah, yeah, Bill from Scotland, the yeah. came to see in Glasgow yeah, yeah, yeah. and whiskey. Okay, let's go. Yeah. 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 How you doing? Sweet. I'm actually using the katana because it's really, it doesn't change with valve amps in different shops. What I find is people might like hammer a valve amp because they like it a lot. The valves change and are consistent, whereas the katana's no valves, it's just the same sound. Every same go, no, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Sorry. Um, first of all, I want to thank Guitar Center for inviting me. Um, Californians are laid back. I like that. Some of the food is healthy. <laughs> um, another question. It means divination by means of observing the weather. Mm. That's aeromancy. It was really cool. Um, it's a shame that it's not a shame. There were so many people, and I wanted to meet everybody that turned up. That the shop shut, and I just decided to take everybody outside and finish off saying hello outside, uh, which was cool. So I went out and um, finished meeting everybody there. That was nice. Yeah, it was good. Thank you to anybody that turned up at Fountain Valley. It was really nice to see a couple of familiar faces. So there were people there that I knew who had been at numerous other clinics I've done in America. And that's kind of nice. It's nice when you've got familiar family lamb hanging out. Hello, um, I'd like to order some uh, food to my room, please. I have a, a wheat allergy, so I can't take um, wheat flour. Thank you very much, dude. Take care. Bye-bye. I've not had any days off, I don't think. I mean, no, no, we landed in, in California and I had, well, I would have had a day off, but I decided to shoot a music video and I just spent the last 10 minutes with Sophie trying to pick the um, thorns out of my palm and we pulled them out with, with a pair of pliers the gaffing, the lighting guy came over was pulling out the needles um, but I think the tips broke off inside so when I'm playing, every so often if I'm doing vibrato it gets really itchy in my palm <laughs> I'm just worried it might get infected or something and I got another 6 or 7 uh, clinics to play but it's good it's really good I wonder what the time is in Malta right now let's have a look what's the time in Malta question mark 6.46 a.m. so she's probably just woken up hey chicken comma I'm in my hotel now 
just ordered food. Give me a FaceTime if you are awake, etc. Smiley face. I do all of my texting by Siri because I have to message so frequently that it's just way more effective and way quicker if I just use Siri. Is press still going ahead or should I sound check with the backing track question mark? Uh, for example, hey viewers, how are you? I really hope that you enjoy this documentary and that in some way it brings you joy slash happiness or helps you to just feel better in your day dash thank you so much for watching and being a part of this experience with me smiley face i really miss my son obviously i miss my wife but i really miss my son as well and um it's not easy it just kind of it's really easy during the work parts when I'm meeting people or I'm playing or I'm on stage, you're in a, you're in a, a different world and it's you completely forget everything else. You're just focused on playing and the music and the story or, 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 or kind of answering somebody's specific question. But it's in the moments when you're quiet. So for example, we had a couple of hours to just relax in the hotel and chill. It's my wife. That's when you start realizing you miss people. Hey chick. Ah, oh, how you doing? Hello. I love you. Uh-huh. What's up dog? We're in San Diego doing our thing. We're going to be going on La Mesa. It's going to be lit with a light <laughs> and dope. I don't know what dope means, with the but pope. it's with, with, the the, pope. with something. And uh, I'm getting all the, the powerful nutrients from this naked. But you know what I'm really looking forward to? Come on. <clears throat> looking forward to trying their premium brand name coffee because it's a premium brand name. So uh, that's probably gonna be really good. Uh, should we have dinner here, guys? We won't, work it. we'll just work it out. Because What's that? We're not gonna talk anything yet, we just start. Okay, no worries. I'll get you uh, an appetizer one of my favorite places. It's called Greystone. They have really good steak, seafood, and pasta. Over 5,000 bottles of wine. Go ahead and add that. I probably can't drink that many bottles of wine, but it's certainly gonna be good. What was that? This is cool. This will give you shivers. Yeah, but that will give you shivers. Just read that, honestly, man. Jimi Hendrix lyrics. Well, oh, whisper in your ear. Stevie Nicks. She was kind of hot. Y'all ready for this? You ready? Y'all ready for this? Uh, 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 that mates, uh, yeah, things, place. We're gonna play a show. Not nervous anymore, just kind of excited, looking forward to making some noise. Gonna go in. Good day. Good day. That's how I set my amp. It's exactly how I set my things, so that we all know what's going on. Thank you very much. 
Why do I write stupid hard stuff to play, man? I could just be, you know. Everything's great, I'm a California girl. Love some burritos, everything's great. <laughs> Brexit's really bad in England. That would work, would you prefer that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Avocado macchiato, pumpkin spice latte chai stuff. <laughs> Singers make great note choices because they're not thinking about a shape. They're not going, they're not thinking, okay, it's cool. Is it a, is it a one, is it a four, is it a five, it's major, so probably it's four. It's a five. I'm not doing that. I'm not going, which chord, target the third, target the fifth, think of the appropriate mode. I'll give you a bit more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's so good to meet you. Go get married. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? I got Very much got an honor to meet you. Oh. This is my favorite sauce. Can I you didn't... tell the camera about the sauce? The sauce, I stumbled across it in a like a boutique store for spiciness. It's from Texas. Stubbs, I, I guess it's a very well-known bar out there where people play and right, right, right. There. It's a so, barbecue been there many yeah, night. yeah. So came across this, fell in love with it. Finally convinced a couple of local stores to carry it. So now oh, I have to get it on the line. So when I saw you say you want to go on hot ones, it's nothing extreme. It's like fifty thousand Scoville. So thank you, fifty thousand Scoville. <laughs> not extreme. It's not. Ex it won't melt your face. Thank you so much, man. I did. Good man. I think I recognize you from posting on Instagram somewhere. Yeah, I commented on your picture yeah, recently, your new one. You. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Oh, you're more than welcome. Yeah. Would you please sign my shirt? Sure, of course. Sit, sign right across it if you'd like. Oh, yeah. Man, it, I've, I've watched your videos for so long. Ever since I started guitar, just Anderton's. It's gonna no. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, my God. Thank you very much for being here. It's insane. I like, oh, um, I'm dying. Like, I'm so excited. It's okay, it's all right. <laughs> My grandkids, oh. eight years old, nine years old, the first Halloween I've missed trick or treating with them to oh, be dear. here with you guys. So, well, then I'm gonna have to get just pick. out of your own pocket. Yeah, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Buy that. Bought it today. I didn't even plug it in. I told my wife to go to, to go pick one. You didn't even plug it in? Didn't even plug it in. I'm gonna plug it in. Oh, my name's Eli. This is Eli. Um, hello. We're in La Mesa. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Joshua Tree, California. Oh, are you? Yes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, out in the national park, out in the desert. Watch your videos and wish I was in Britain. <laughs> See you guys with your uh, nice scenery and just talented people everywhere. Um, well, it's, it's working. Every so often I get given random <laughs> things to sign. Sometimes, get, get, it, get in frame. I get given mobile <laughs> phones. I, someone's asked me to sign their face. But Andrew has asked me to sign his toothbrush. Henry. Henry, sorry. But Henry has asked me to sign his toothbrush. I'm never going to let that go. Is this one you've used for a long time as well? You just had it in my backpack. You're health conscious, I like that. Can I see your teeth? <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> so I'm gonna sign his I'm gonna sign his toothbrush for the first time ever. Oh god, I haven't laughed at that. Uh, 2018. Rob Chapman yeah. in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you can you better not use that. You gotta worship that. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Yeah. Just there. Just yeah. here. Yes. Nice. See you later. Thank, Thank you so much. Have a if you want a drink, I'll be at Hooli's. I'll buy you one. All right, man. Thank and you. your boy. And your boy. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Oh, man. I just got so many cool Star Wars things. <laughs>
Thank you so much. No, I, re no. I really, really appreciate that. It's exactly the same hat from the video I shot with Leo from Frog Leap Studios. <laughs> That's awesome. Never signed a hat before. This is absolutely um, the first. You know, a, a toothbrush is a toolbox for your mouth. I just, I don't know where that came from, but it's a strange thing to say. Welcome to Phoenix. I feel like I need sleep. I'm tripping on the lack of sleep. Uh, so, last 40 hours, we've flown all the way. Where the f were we? Yeah. That's really funny. We don't know where we've just been. San Diego. That's what it's like. Okay, we've just come from San Diego. Uh, we've flown, we're now in San, Die San Diego. No, where are we? We're in Phoenix. <laughs> Wait, so we've come from... No, we came from San Diego, and now we're in Phoenix. We've just come from San Diego, and now we're in Phoenix. Uh, we need to get some food. It's hot here and dry, and um, to be honest, I'm looking forward to to eating something and then just having like two hours sleep because we are knackered. Wow. We were literally seconds away from the guitar center, but then we realized that an, is it us? Then we realized we had to uh, take a 12 minute detour to cross the road. <sighs> How you doing guys? What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Something that I learned from years and years of studying Chinese martial arts. I'm just really soft and I'm serious. <laughs> and even how I hold the pick, it's really, it's really soft. I don't grip it hard, so that it, it um, the pick is moving in my fingers while I do that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. That was mad. It was, um, by far it was the busiest clinic we've done. I wasn't sure what to expect because I've never been here before. And um, people got there early and kind of sat down and were waiting really politely, which was nice. And um, got up, got ready, got the guitar tuned. I just strung it early in the hotel so it was a bit out, which is a pain in the ass. I hate new strings. <laughs> I think I was signing for two hours. Some really emotional times. Um, some really, some really special people, and some really kind of different experiences for me. And kind of the bit of the job, I call it a job. I don't really feel like I work, but the bit of what I do that I love the most is meeting the people and sort of getting to know them in the short window of time that I have with a queue of 100 plus people who've come to see me. So it was really cool. I'm really exhausted now. I'm gonna neck an orange juice, eat some Lay's, and then go to bed. And then tomorrow we fly to Las Vegas, baby. I mean, especially where I'm from in the West Country, the roads are much smaller. No, oh, and, uh, and, and the seasons, you get all seasons. Oh yeah, so you get spring, summer, autumn, winter, yeah, 100%, yeah. You only get two out here. No, I know, you get summer and summer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I listen to London rappers. And oh yeah? yeah? Like Dizzy Rascal, that kind of stuff? Yeah. I listen to Tina Turner. Me she's too. great, yeah, she's great, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Las Vegas, yeah. 
never been here before. We've set a limit on exactly how much to spend. <laughs> so that when we leave, we're not ruined. You know? We're in Las Vegas. Last night we did this. We're in a castle because it reminds us of being in England. England, castles, alcohol. I'm in Vegas, baby! Yeah! Yeah! A lion! Yeah. Oh. I love you, Mike. I love you, man. When in Vegas. Oh, you bring the group. San Fuego, you know what I'm saying? It was big times. We spent the money we came here to spend. Yeah. We saw, we got tattooed, we got drunk, we had buffet food. It was, it was, what do you call it, bomb? Dope? Yeah, I guess dope. Bomb dope. Time to sleep. That's why I look like this now. We're now with Alex Orajo, who's working with one of our wonderful retailers on La Reunion Island. Uh, but he happens to also be in Las Vegas. And we're going to drive in a wicked car. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, man. Let's do it. It's funny, when I sit with you and talk, my French comes back to me in bits. That's a good one. Oiseau? We're going to turn to the gauche. To the gauche. It's strange because my French is jour de jour, it's not mal, but. Where is the store? Oh, it's over here. American clinic number five. five. Last night I woke up, went to go for a piss. I almost walked out of my hotel window because I've been in so many hotels now that I just, I don't know where I am. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Thank Welcome. You for having us. Yeah, yeah. Pleasure. Being proactive with everything you do. <laughs> We're doing our best. We're trying to make it easy for you. Yeah. I'm so sorry, guys. Didn't mean to get in the way. No, it's all good. Rob, it's an oh. honor. Hey, you doing, man? <laughs> nice to meet you, dude. So what we're going to do is there's actually like a little park over here uh -huh. with a stage. So we're actually going to do like the clinic. Really? Is that for dogs? Level check. Yeah. That is so cute. It's a little dog park. Level check. One, two, three. Level check. One. Like like yeah, yeah. Sorry, man. It's like watching a YouTube video. It, for me, it is too. Yeah. I always imagine an audience when I'm uh, <laughs> doing my thing. Since you guys are over an hour early, you'll definitely be in it. Woo! Vegas. Give yourselves a round of applause. I appreciate you all for. Uh, we're coming out and supporting rock and roll because it, it needs a hand, you know. Well, actually, we'll talk about that too. Topical. It doesn't really need a hand. Oh. Thank you very much. Hey buddy, I just I was just thinking recently it'd be really cool if you did one of these clinics with me because I think it would be so cool, Americans would love it. I mean, I think they'd love it. Would you love it? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm very visual when I write and it's a little bit like looking at a giant painting and I can reveal and see the bottom left-hand corner and it's given me a visual for how the song will feel and then it unravels as I'm playing and then I get the whole thing like a purge or a catharsis through me. Lee said, do you want to make another guitar and we'll go 50-50 on it? And I was like, 
sure, maybe we'll sell some. And now I've got the biggest guitar company in Europe. <laughs> it's just mad. It's uh, one of those things that I never expected to happen. Interesting note chat and some phrasing and things that make a solo nice are human qualities. So then see if you can play the thing you sang. You play this a lot, huh? Oh yeah. Like since I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> so I would like to thank you for being part of the inspiration I picked up the instrument in the first place. Oh, you are absolutely yeah. welcome. Thanks, Thanks so much. for coming out. Take it easy, man. All right. Yeah. And hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see you guys soon again. saying this is probably the most exciting place for me to be. We're in San Francisco now. And uh, of course, you know, the best film in the entire world, Big Trouble in Little China, was filmed in San Francisco Chinatown. It's my favorite word in Mandarin. Chu Taxi. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you. San Fran. <laughs> pow, pow, pow. Four zero is our car. Oh, she's putting up any second so I'll put on this one. A few days ago, in San Diego, that she did a great job. Hello, how are you? So you live in San Francisco? I do. I was on freeway and I received your call. I said, please, please go to San Francisco. Please go to San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds a bit like Sylvia. Huh? My son's godmother is from Lithuania. You sound a little bit. Oh, like, really? But, yeah. I'm from Uzbekistan. But all I know is Pasibo. <laughs> That's all you need. How do you say cheers? Sir. 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 Yeah. Yes. Cheese, sir. Minyazo yeah. Adrob. Great. My country was, I mean, still north of Afghanistan. Yeah, sure, sure. And when it's the Soviet Union's broke, a lot of illegal drugs came over our country. Yeah. Affect a lot of people, yeah. including my ex-husband. Every single day, he stole something from house. And sold it? Even, yes, and sold it. That's for the drugs. drugs. When I find out, we fight, and he beat me all the time. Oh, man. And he never called emergency or nobody. Even so, we had two kids. How long were you with him for? 16 years. Wow. I spent 16 years. Enough is enough. But so all of these bad things, they, they seem to have made you strong. Yes. And then you get married. And in one month, I, <laughs> I met my husband. In three months, I get married. See, this is the universe saving up all of the good stuff for yes. you. I teach my kids, I said, you know, don't focusing on something negative. Everybody has problem. Everybody has some problem. It's true. Just look the forward. Yeah, Don't yeah. look at the back. Yeah. So if you had three lessons for life, yes. what would they be? Three lessons, be honest. Uh -huh. Be honest for yourself, first of all. Second one, be positive. Yeah. And third one, Never stop yourself. Mm. In this life, so much to do. So much to do. Make your siblings, make your kids happy, make your people on the street happy. That's that's meaning the life. Yeah. Money, nothing. Money, yes, money is something, but it's not important. That's very true. Yeah, it's very true. No. Gary Clark Jr. Yeah, of course, Gary Clark Jr. He was in my famous. car. Oh, wow. He was in my car. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so we're here, this is it. So Sweet Maple is Yay. right here. I love people like her because she was so positive and there was so much you could learn from her. And she had such an amazing spirit. And uh, I'm going to eat this meal in honor of her. <laughs> I'm on a mission to buy a hat today, Hans. You're gonna buy your hat? We're gonna go buy a hat, head off to San Jose. Oh my god.
Francisco. That's the Golden Gate Bridge. It's very exciting. It just makes me think about Jack Burton. You paid your dues, Jack. Yes, sir, the check is in the mail. It's the best movie of all time and space, bar none. It's a kung fu action horror comedy. And um, it's one of the most exciting things I've seen in America. There's a guy doing, uh, doing handstands and he's really good and we're trying to get a sneaky bit of footage. If we get it, it'll be here. So we're on the way to the San Jose Clinic and we didn't realize the traffic was going to be bad. We have absolutely no idea about traffic in America. And so we're running a bit late. This is right here, guys. Yeah, this is yeah. Hey, guys. How you doing? It's a lot of you. Hey. 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 Woo! There you go, there you go, yeah. <laughs> Pizza free gluten, okay. Have a good day. <laughs> we'll do. Hands up if you have a problem with confidence on stage. You do? Come on. <laughs> if you ever go to see something or you watch somebody performing, it's like, wow, look at that, that's really cool. They're really good. You have only good feelings. And all these people here watching you, they only have like good feelings. They're like, wow, this is really cool. So you should feel like, like soak it up, ready? We're gonna soak up some of the love. Could you all go, ah, love? Ah. Ah. <laughs> 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 it feels nice, it's a good thing. Anyone struggle with writing lyrics? Oh yeah. Yeah? So I don't write lyrics, they write themselves through me. I go on stage and I improvise until the damn lyric turns up. <laughs> Three, two, one! Hey, this is for Rob. I've been a longtime uh, watcher of all of your content and uh, just seeing how everything has transpired over the years has been inspirational. Uh, and uh, every one of your guitars has your uh, personal touch on it. I think it's just absolutely something. And you are as charming in person as uh, you are on, uh, the, on the computer screen as well. So I appreciate that, thank you. Hi, my name is Josh Rodriguez. I'm here at the Guitar Center in San Jose, California, and we just got done with the Rob Chapman Clinic. Um, I picked up an ML3 Guitar Center exclusive model. I'm gonna get it signed. Um, really, really inspirational stuff from Rob Chapman. This is Ed Wilkinson. He's been doing some cool mod works to this Cap 10 America from Chapman Guitars. Look how cool that is. I reckon the Captain Lee Anderson would like that. Would probably really like what you've done with the pickup. Yeah. Three, two, one. Thank you very much. Thank you, Awesome. Thank you, boy. Thank you. Yeah. That's not a knife. <laughs> <I'm aware. laughs> Somebody has. That's not a knife. So some some very nice individual has sent me a guitar. Thank you very much, individual. <laughs> They're not. He looks like, I guess I'll. Side of the card. Huh. No way! A oh. Mustang. He sent me a Fender Mustang. What year is it? Wow. I, I don't know. Brand is new. Is it, it looks brand new. It looks brand new to me. Yeah. What an awesome person. Doesn't oh, is it the pawn shop? Oh! <laughs> so, you, you guys probably don't know what this is, but so. Fender made these guitars called the Pawn Shop Specials. And this is a guitar that never existed but could have. And it's one of the guitars that I always wanted that I demonstrated and it got away. And he sent me the guitar I wanted. That's sick. Wow. Thank you. That's that really actually re means a lot to me, man. We're in San Francisco. Things about to go down. It's the last clinic in California. And um, <clears throat> just spoke to the guy, set the stage up, got everything ready. I really, really need coffee. So we're gonna go do that. Know about me, you must not know about me. Get a little you in a minute. 
I, I have a memory. One of my, my best friends in the world, Mr. Lee Bryan. He's the guy whose tattoo this represents. He's a departed friend of mine. And one of the last memories I have of Lee is myself and him <clears throat> on top of Glastonbury Tour. It was a really windy day. And I opened my coat and I leant into the wind and it held me at about that much of an angle. And him as well. And we were just held by the wind. And I got these lyrics in my head, all this music in my head, and I was just being supported by the wind. And it was such an emotional, like an incredible experience. I'll never forget it. And it didn't cost one penny. And it was such a reminder of how simple things in the world make you happy. Sitting down, drinking a coffee, looking at the sea. Sitting under a tree, reading a book. That is the important thing. So you're wearing it like that. It like, <laughs> with a brim width like this, you can yeah. wear it all the way down. You can have just the front down, which is kind of a classic look. Or it falls off here. But more of the Tom Waits thing, where it's up all the way around. Right, right. I see. I'm a big Tom Waits fan. Yeah, he's pretty amazing. I adore. Him. I love the interviews. How are you? <laughs> yeah. This is a bit like my beard because it's black and it's grey. Right. And looking at that, think of when you had just the grey one on. Yeah. How it was just grey. What do you think, Hans? I think it's pretty cool. It's a bit cool as hell. So I'll take these two, please, sir. I think it's a good choice. Thank you, sir. We just got some hats. We just got some hats. I'm a fedora wearing guy now. I guess that's the uh, the direction in which I've gone with my head. And they were really cool, huh? Great shot. Really enjoyed their company. And now I've got two different colors of head that I can wear at different times. Hannah, show them what you got. Hat gang, fall, 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 fall. Pew, 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 pew. Here it is, the last clinic in California on this extraordinary expedition. I'm tremendously excited, and uh, it's going to go down. Pew, 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 pew. I'm very informal, so uh, I'd like you to relax. Have a shake. Oh yeah, that's good. We're in San Francisco. <laughs> this is the ML3 Pro Traditional that we have painted black on the inside so it pops. I want you to imagine confetti. <laughs> you saw it in your head, didn't you? I can tell. Sized me, <laughs> living in. I live in two worlds in my brain. <laughs> That's a, that's a dobro lick that I stole, uh, and then I turned it into a guitar lick. So it goes. It's fourth and the third. Seventh bit. minor frigid. Yeah. What? <laughs> what it's are just you a, saying? It's just Rob? a bunch of chords that work. Hire me, Rob. Okay, you're in. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Oh, yeah. Rob, man. I, I watch you all the time on YouTube. I didn't know it was a meet and greet. <laughs> you blow me away. This guy is part of the team who made Red Dead Redemption. Well, I didn't actually make that one. I made NBA 2K. NBA 2K. But my company makes Red Dead Redemption. I know you're more your kind of thing you should play. Yeah. You'll, you'll love it. It's all right, I will do. So thank you. Thank you both. Thank you very much. Man. You're welcome. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, blew my mind. <laughs> I need one more question. You do martial arts? Yeah. Holy sh uh, what kind of martial arts do you do? Bagua, Singi, Taiji, Northern Elephant System. Ooh. I'm doing jujitsu myself. Somebody that's two pounds, that no technique, can like like puts the guy that's 200 pounds into a pretzel. Dude, you should check out jujitsu if you ever get the chance. <laughs> and no, you're like doing all this stuff like saving the universe and whatnot. If you ever like 
get a glimpse of it, yeah, check it out and whatnot. Take it easy, Rob. I will do. I'm gonna go save the universe now. See you later, YouTube. Shukran <laughs> Habibi. Oh wow. My ending words are I'm in an elevator walking towards a hotel room. Tomorrow I'm getting a flight. This is my life now. This is all I've done for the last three or four weeks. I still enjoy it. I'll be getting the wrong way. We still know which hotel are we in? Good night everybody. Bye. Meaning of life. It's really simple. It looks you in the face and people don't really, they don't take notice of it. The meaning of life is to live your life. Have fun, have friends, have family, be kind to people, live a life. Don't pursue money, don't pursue things that are ultimately gonna make you sad and unhappy. Just to be alive is the meaning of life. Have a family, have fun, make, create music, create anything, sandcastles, artwork, food, it doesn't matter. As long as you are creating and having fun and being healthy and happy, that's the meaning of life. 